What's up guys, Liam Griffin here with another tutorial for you. Uh, in today's tutorial we're going to be showing you guys how to use a Noid light. Noid light, I'm sorry I pronounced it wrong. Um, it's to test your fuel injection system. The vehicle we're going to be working on is a 98 Chevy Tahoe. Um, the engine in it is a 5.3 liter LS. I've swapped in there. Uh, this tutorial will apply for all or most vehicles though. I'll show you, we have the Noid light set right here. Uh, you can rent these from your local auto parts store. You can pick one up. You can buy one for like, I think it's $25. So they're really cheap. <clears throat> it's going to look just like this here. You're going to have different lights for different fuel injector types. Um, most, most popular ones for uh, most popular fuel injector types. So what you'll do, the Noid light just sits on top of the electrical plug and it will actually flash as your injector is pulsing. And that'll tell you if you're getting an accurate... Uh, signal from your computer. So what we're going to do is uh, show you guys how to hook up the Noid light and begin testing. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do before messing with any electrical connections, you want to disconnect the negative terminal of your battery. Once you do that, we're going to identify the injector plugs. And it's really simple. Uh, most engines will have a fuel rail similar to this right here. It's a rail that runs along the engine and across to the other side on V6s and V8s. Four cylinders will just be one rail, obviously, with just four cylinders. And on that rail, you'll have four individual connectors for your injectors. And usually they'll be pink and white. Um, but they don't go off of that. It could be any color. What you want to do is disconnect one of the connectors. Let's see if we can go ahead and get this one disconnected. We're just going to do the number two cylinder here. There we go. We'll pop that connector off and you're going to hook up to the connector side of the injector not the actual injector because once again the noid light is testing the pulse signal it's not testing the actual injector it's making sure the computer is sending a signal to it so we'll go ahead and get our noid light set out and we're going to identify which one we're going to use all right next we're going to go ahead and connect our noid light uh, to the injector plug and i've picked the correct one you'll have to look at your application um, and the spacing of the pins to find out which one you need to use. Basically, you're just going to wedge it down in there like that. Be careful not to break the prongs. It won't necessarily go all the way in. You can see it's not perfect, but it's in there enough. So we'll set that off to the side now. And what you want to do is connect your negative terminal, your battery back up. And we're going to go ahead and fire up the engine. And you're going to notice a rough idle, which if you've got an injector tester, you're probably already experiencing a rough idle, that's why we're looking into it, but if you unplug a different one other than the one in question, you might get an even rougher idle because now, theoretically, you have two injectors that aren't working. Um, so we'll go ahead and connect the battery and start the truck, and we'll test to verify that it's working. All right. Truck is running. As you can see, it's a fell, but it is pulsing. And what that tells us is that that injector is working perfectly. We'll go ahead and shut it off. So now we know that that injector is good, and we can go ahead and move our Noid tester to each individual injector and test them separately. And if there is a problem in the current or the signal coming from the computer to the injector, that'll tell us which injector it's on. So to disconnect, all you'll do is pull the pin out here, just like that, separate it, set it out of the way, and we'll take we'll take our almost drop that. We'll take our injector plug and we will plug it right back into the fuel injector. There we go. And we're good to go on to the next one. So there you go, guys. That's how you'd use a Noid light to verify that your ECM is giving signal to your fuel injectors.